What is more powerful? A thunder or a nuclear explosion? Opinions left aside, let us do some proper calculations. We will base our discussion on a thunder that occurred in the UK in 1987. Also known as the Great Storm of 1987, it destroyed 15 million trees and left 6 billion pounds worth of damage. Here is what it looked like, roughly. It was 1000 kilometers in diameter, 100 kilometers tall. We can think of it as a cylinder filled with moving air. The average speed of air inside the cyclone was 80 km an hour, or 20 meters per second. So the energy of this thunder is simply the kinetic energy of its air. We only need to remember that one cubic meter of air weighs approximately 1.25 kilograms. So energy becomes half times pi times 500 squared times 100 times 20 squared times 1.25 times 10 to the power 9, since we want everything in meters, which is roughly 2 times 10 to the 19 joules. Let's now get to the nuclear energy. We will use the bomb dropped on Hiroshima as a reference. That bomb had 22 kilotons worth of energy. Now, a kiloton is a unit of energy equal to 4 terajoules, which is 4 times 10 to the 12th power. So the bomb had 22 times this energy, which is 8.8 .8 times 10 to the 13th. Okay, now we have the numbers. A powerful thunder turns out to be almost 23,000 times more powerful than a nuclear bomb. But here's the thing, nuclear weapons have evolved to become at least a thousand times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. Secondly, a bomb releases all of its energy within fractions of a second, while a cyclone exists for days or even weeks. Another difference to keep in mind is that a thunder acts on a much larger area, so its energy is spread across a vast area. So all in all, nuclear blasts can be just as powerful as a weak long storm. Which is frightening, because are we really more powerful than the nature itself?